couple of weeks since Astrobot released, and there's been a lot of discussion about it. Mostly a lot of positive reception towards the game, but there's also a much larger, bigger conversation that people have been having, especially now that a lot more people have played the game. That conversation is around Astrobot being the game of the year. Now, I still haven't completed the game. By the time this video comes out, I might have already completed it, but still, I've been absolutely having a total blast with it. I'm loving every nook and cranny of this game. It's just so fun. It is the definition of PlayStation's version of a 3D Mario platformer. To me, that's like the best shit ever. <laughs> but of course, like any game that has success, there's always gonna be people that wanna be contrary or that wanna say, well, it's good, but it ain't that good. Or you know, the typical fanboys that just wanna shit on anything that's not from their particular brand. I mean, I've seen a lot of Xbox fans, but also surprisingly, a good amount of Nintendo fans really trying to bring Astro Bot down just because it's a PlayStation game. And honestly, I'm fucking done with this. I'm not gonna participate in your stupid console like worship bullshit I, I don't care you want to be a fucking idiot that's your deal okay just keep that shit to yourself I don't want to even be part of it now you might be wondering bringing stuff about Astrobot being game of the year why am I even bringing this up? The reason why I want to talk about this, or the main factor that kind of inspired me to make this video in the first place, I do truly believe that Astrobot is not only game of the year it should absolutely, without a doubt, win the Game of the Year award. I know a lot of great games have come out in the last couple of months. I mean, a lot of people are still saying, well, yeah, but pff, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth... Pff. I mean, come on. <laughs> and look, that's completely understandable. A lot of people are going to have a completely different opinions on what their game of the year is going to be. But to me personally, I truly believe that this game, more than any other game, deserves it. Honestly, I feel like it's important that it wins. Now, I don't want to make a huge deal about this. But the thing is that it is one of those games that should win game of the year, but because it's part of a specific demographic of games, it almost feels like it's destined to not win, and that kind of bothers me personally. <laughs> like I mentioned before, Astrobot is a 3D platformer, very akin to Nintendo's 3D Mario platformers. The gameplay is very fun, the level design is amazing, the music, oh, fucking fantastic. It's just an incredible game overall, and on top of that, this game is just an enormous love letter to PlayStation history from the consoles to some of the IPs that PlayStation has had through the years. Some that I was even surprised to even see here, but it was just an incredible package overall. It is by far the highest rated game of the year, so it, it pretty much has written all over the place that this game would and should win the Game of the Year award. So why am I saying that there is a pretty high chance of it not even happening? Because of it being a 3D platformer. And as you guys know, as much as 3D platformers are very popular and a lot of people love them, unfortunately, for some reason, they don't tend to see them as what these award shows deem as the greatest game of all time. Especially with how gamers nowadays have really ridiculously stupid standards for what is to be considered a game of the year. It needs to have a great story. It needs to have realistic graphics. Those are some of the main factors that are kind of making Astrobot's chance of winning game of the year kind of hard. So what I'm trying to say here, and I'm not even trying to make this a huge campaign or whatever, I really, really, really do want this game to win game of the year. For a lot of reasons, but mainly one. It is to prove to the entire gaming industry that we gamers not only want, but we need more games like Astrobot in the in industry as a whole. The industry has changed in a lot of ways. I've mentioned that a couple of times in some of my recent videos, but what I'm trying to say is that gaming has changed for the better in some places, but it also has gotten worse in so many others, especially when it comes to development time with games nowadays. The fact that it almost takes five to six years now to develop an entire game is kind of fucking ridiculous to me, and it makes no goddamn sense if you ask me personally. I think it's ridiculous waiting that goddamn much for a fucking game. Now, I get it if it's like a grand fucking game it's huge it's massive then i kind of understand i feel like they are spending a lot of time in places that could be used in somewhere else that's at least how i view this now astrobot was a game that took what three years to develop the game is incredibly fun you see the passion pouring from every corner of this game and the fact that this game looks absolutely beautiful and it's not a realistic or like a photorealistic looking game kind of speaks louder than anything else out there and again this is not even me being like completely against like photorealistic games or games that have a art direction being photorealistic that's not the problem i don't have an issue with that my issue with it is, is that it has become the norm for the industry that every game 
game needs to look like The Last of Us or Uncharted or Red Dead Redemption. It's like, I don't fucking care about this shit. I do not think this is what all games should look like or should be, especially when those type of games take so much time to develop. But not only that, these games tend to go through very, very, very fucking awful development cycles. It's not good. The industry is absolutely fucked it in so many ways crunch time is still a big thing the fact that that is still a huge part of the industry is genuinely disgusting and look i get it it's very childish of me to think that one game can change an entire industry but games do attempt to change how the industry moves and grows so if a game like astrobot can win such a huge prize the game of the year that could send a message to big developers and studios that this is the kind of stuff that we want more these are the experiences that gamers are looking forward to the most they want to have fun and look i'm not trying to say that narrative focused games are bad that they need to stop making them i'm not saying that but there needs to be variety especially a studio like sony has been lacking in variety for years at this point and it's all their fault for shutting down studios laying off employees it has been their entire fault because they want to chase just wanting to release big narrative focused triple a titles and it's backfire on them really badly i want this game to showcase that people want more experiences like this and less of stuff like concord or just making another last of us ish game people just want fun games again not saying that you can make a narrative driven game anymore i'm not saying that but you need to have a variety the biggest reason why nintendo has been the most competent in this generation of consoles is because they played it smart they knew that they couldn't just survive from the big triple a title so they said okay yeah we're gonna still make these huge AAA titles but in between we're going to release smaller titles not only that we're gonna have indie games we're also gonna have third parties we're gonna have a lot of variety here the problem with the others xbox but specifically sony in this case is that sony just wants to do a one specific type of game and that is not working for them so if they can have more variety i guess you can still have these huge triple a cinematic experiences go for it i don't care there's a lot of these type of games that i really love but you also need to have smaller stuff you need to have other things other than just the big triple a titles that's why to me i feel like is very important that Astrobot wins game of the year but what do you guys think about that i mean what's your game of the year of course you, you can tell me down in the comments what is your game of the year but personally if we want to make a change in this industry and again it's foolish of me to even say this it is childish but i feel like astrobot does have the power to change the industry and i personally hope it does because we do need more experiences like this i'm not saying that we need to stop making certain type of games i'm just saying that we need more stuff like this but anyways what do you think do you believe astrobot should win game of the year and if you do believe that do you think it winning could change the industry in a positive way or do you have a different game of the year let me down in the comments i really want to know what you guys think about this and like always good night and stay safe